October 2019. Before this 440 thing was even a thought, I debuted for Game Changer Wrestling. I was the kid that put Matt Tremont on the shelf for a few months. And now look at everything we've accomplished. The other day, someone came up to me and was like, Oh, I'm so stoked to see that you're facing Colby Carino in his comeback match. He's been through so much. I decided to look into it and uh, I shouldn't have done that. My entire life, I've lived in one of the most dangerous cities in the United States. I've had a lot of bad shit happen that I can't even talk about. For the past five years, I have worked my ass off to stay out of trouble, to stay away from drugs, to stay away from alcohol. And here you are. You could be a star. Your father literally works for the Performance Center. You have it all at the tip of your fingers and you're too big of a fuck up to realize it. Do the fans know that you were kicked out of the New Japan Dojo? because you were too worried about getting your next high? Kobe, you're nothing but a junkie. And if you think that you're gonna use Deathmatch Wrestling or me for your comeback story to get yourself over, you're wrong. Your sentimental comeback story doesn't start with me. I've been grinding this entire time. And while you're at it, let your ugly ass baby boy know that his drug addict father's just always gonna be a disappointment to the whole fucking family.